the love my family had for basketball only rubbed off on me. I think uh, having my parents both play in college and then my two older brothers also playing college and then my younger sister playing college, I think just having a family who just loved the game of basketball, I think just rubbed off on me, especially when I was younger. You know, being a younger brother, always wanted to do what your older brothers are doing. And I was playing, they were always playing basketball, so I always wanted to join them. So I think from a very young age, I just fell in love uh, for the game. And, uh, you know, I just happened to grow to be 6'10 and, you know, <laughs> the height I am and just, you know, continue to work hard and play the game. But I think just, you know, my parents' love for the game and then my brothers falling and my sister, I just think it all. It just all rubbed off on me. My first memories of basketball, I think, were uh, just playing in the driveway back at home against against my brothers. Uh, they're three years older and two years older than me, and so you know, going up against them and trying to make shots against them when they're taller than me and stuff, and trying to figure out a way to play against them and just back in the driveway, back home in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. That's probably like my earliest memories of basketball and just uh, just how much I loved it. I think, uh, I think my dad told me when I was in elementary school that I could do this as a career and I'm like, I'm sold. <laughs> I knew at that point, I'm like, if I can play basketball for a living, then that's what I want to do. And so I think at a very young age, just uh, for me, watching uh, you know college games and watching the NBA was something I strive to do and play as a professional and you know make a living out of it. And so uh, it always kept me working hard and always kept me dreaming, dreaming big of that. You know maybe one day that could be a possibility. You know obviously playing with the best uh, talent in the world is is pretty cool and especially when I was in Brooklyn, Kate, Kevin Durant was hurt, but even you know, just walking around the practice facility and Kevin Rand being on your team is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feeling just because you just know how talented he is as a player and stuff. And even though I was in Detroit playing with uh, guys like Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin, all stars, you just know that they're the best at their craft. And so it's something it's like you admire their hard work and what they take to get there. And it's something you try to learn from them to try to be, be like those guys. You know, I think um, I got drafted by Detroit in uh, 2016 and, you know, the coaches I were with, you know, we got fired after two years. And so it's like, it was hard to get stability there, but also I, I think just a matter of opportunity. It's something, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy in the NBA to get minutes on the court, especially when you have players that, you know, I had in front of me were very talented. And so it's hard, it's very competitive. Uh, to try to get those minutes and stuff so I just feel like you know there's some opportunities which I wish I would have had some more minutes or some more chances more games to play but uh, you know I think something I was always proud of is how hard I worked even if I wasn't playing uh, always staying active and you know making sure I'm lifting getting better on shooting and stuff like that and so I feel like as a player, I'm actually better now than when I was when I first entered the league just because, you know, I've had so many years now as a professional to learn about the game and stuff. But, uh, you know, it just, it's just something that was, wasn't in my, uh, you know, just something was in, in, in my book or, you know, it just wasn't meant to be, I guess. So just this where it took me now. I think it, it was, you know, it was last year, I think. You know, I was in uh, the G League last season with uh, Toronto 905, and then I got a 10-day contract with uh, the Toronto Raptors, and, you know, they didn't call me back for another 10-day, and so then I went home, just worked out, and then over the summer, talking with my agent, it was just like, you know, I told him I just want to play at a high level. That's, that's what I want to do. I work hard. I work at my game, and I'm like, I just want to go somewhere and play at a high level. And then he started talking to me about overseas opportunities and then talking to me about the ACB and, you know, getting to learn about this league because this was something, you know, I had to learn about. I didn't grow up around the ACB is, you know, just being from the United States. And so, you know, getting a better understanding and respect for this league was something my agent uh, told me, you know, it got me excited about 
having these opportunities to come over here and play. And so it was really last year in this summer, I think, just because I wanted just to play against really good competition. I think uh, I think why now is just like personally, I think I was more ready for it now at 24 than I was uh, before. And you know, I bounced around. I was in the league. I was on a bunch of different teams. I was in the league for four years, and then my fifth year, you know. I played in the G League and was able to get back. And I think, you know, looking at my sixth year, because this is my sixth year as a professional player, I felt like, you know, it was time to come overseas. I think, you know, be able to also handle and live in far away from home was something I probably wouldn't have been ready for when I was younger. But, you know, just kind of being in the position I am at 24, I felt comfortable with that. But also knowing as a player, you know, that, there's uh, a lot of great teams over here and it's great competition and it's something that other great players who've had success, you know, if it wasn't the NBA coming over here and doing the same thing. And so I think that kind of excited me and just also playing in a high comp competitive league as the ACB where people from all over the world respect it. Well, I wasn't able to personally meet him in 2016, but he said he was in the uh, Orlando Magic Summer League gym. He was at those games and stuff. So it's pretty cool to, you know, to be able to know that Coach Mancho, you know, saw me playing, you know, over five years ago in a gym. And, you know, when this opportunity came, arise that, you know, that they, they wanted me and stuff. And so I was very, very excited about that to have, uh, you know, a coach that, knew me as a player back then, but also now, and you know, it's been able to see me as a player grow, but also know my game, especially coming uh, from the United States, just because I wasn't sure, you know, who would know my game and stuff. And when Mancho was telling me, what you know, what I like to do, facing up towards the basket or shooting threes and stuff, it, it was very cool to hear his understanding of my game. And so I think that made me more comfortable uh, especially making my decision to come here to Obra. I think for me, I th my focus is just on playing here and winning games. I think, uh, you know, these first 11 games uh, for me has been, you know, a learning uh, process. I think I've done well in some, some games I wish I would have, I could have back and just, you know, do things different. But I think for me right now, it's just a matter of, you know, helping this team win games and that's the most important thing because it's a lot more fun when you're winning especially after this last game we had Sunday you know it was very nice to come in to this FIBA break where you know guys are happy and stuff and so uh, that's that's my main focus you know that's a long way down the road uh, next decisions and stuff but I'm just happy to be here happy for this opportunity to play in front of these great fans and you know, try to win games, especially when you got a great group of guys like we do. It's uh, it's fun to go compete with them, and it's fun to it's fun to go uh, just go fight with them every night.